Dan Horde with Bearcat Senior Guard Farad Cobb. How much more comfortable do you feel now that you have a year of experience under your belt at this level? Uh, a lot more comfortable this year. Um, being here for a whole year and then having this summer to just work and be around the team, you know, this is just a whole different mindset. And just like you said, feeling a lot more comfortable. I imagine it'd be a little bit of everything too, not just the basketball, but living up here, knowing your teammates, all of that put together. Yeah, I think our uh, chemistry definitely got better since we all know each other for over the course of a year. And um, I think it'll be a big help going into this year. You guys work out together in the off season. You play pickup games. Who do you expect to be some of the most improved players on the team? Uh, I think all the whole senior class, um, Gary Clark, Troy, I think everyone spent a lot of time in the gym this summer, so everyone should be improved. Several others say it, it might be you. Uh, I mean, we'll see. I know I've been working and uh, just have to put it out there on the court. So, Mike Rayfeld also works you guys out very hard in the off season. Who has or who have transformed their bodies the most? I'll say um, Shaq did a good job. Um, Ock did as well. And uh, freshman Trey, Squat, Trey Scott, he gained about like 25 pounds, like muscle. So I, I also have to say him. A handful of games into your first season here, you lost your coach when Mick Cronin got his medical diagnosis. What's it mean for you now to have the opportunity to play for him for a whole year? Uh, I think it'll be good because last year when we went out, I was just starting to get accustomed to how he was coaching and uh, was getting comfortable with him, and then he went out. So it was like a whole nother transformation again. So having him now is, is really good for us because uh, he's a good leader. So. Where do you think this team can improve the most this year from last year? Uh, I mean, I think our defense is pretty good. We have to be more consistent um, on the offensive end and um, just communicating. But I think we'll be fine. The shot clock has changed. Is that going to make a big difference? And is it something you like? Uh, I, I actually like the shot clock changing. Uh, I mean, we have to be more up-tempo, get the ball out a little quicker. And I think that'll give us um, a better fast break. The season ended with a NCAA tournament win in overtime over Purdue and then a terrific game against the Kentucky team that was undefeated at the time. What did that do for the team's confidence as you come back for this year? Uh, it showed us that uh, we can play at a high level if we play together. And uh, that Purdue game, that was amazing. Like, I've never been a part of something like that. And uh, if you were watching the game, a lot of people told me, like, with, like, 40 seconds left, we was down, like, by seven. They thought it was over. People was leaving. And then we come back and win. So it was just amazing. And, uh, that gave us a lot of confidence going forward for this season. How many shots did you take this summer? I can't count. I <laughs> you did, did you do like a 500 a, a day type of thing or anything? A lot of two a days, a lot of – usually each workout I'll probably get like at least 300 makes, so however many shots that is. And uh, just a lot of different shots off the screen, off the dribble, uh, step-ins. So I should shoot a better percentage and just be ready. Hard work pays off. We're looking forward to seeing it. All right. Yep, me too. All right, that's Farad Cobb, and I'm Dan Horde for Bearcats TV.